Okay, we're going to do a quick how-to with the hutch finish that we just did. I'm going to grab a brush. I used caramel textured base coats, the peppercorn. I did one coat over my oak hutch, just brushing it on. All in the same direction. Like that. And the second coat I did was I used the new Ellis Collection Limoges. Don't work out of your can. I added some water to it. Usually when I do that, I'll just stick it right next to it. If you notice, I don't have it on the plate or uh, mixed. Okay. And I just take my brush into both. That way, some areas it bites in a little bit more. Other areas I can just put it on sheer. Cover your whole piece. Before my paint's dry, I'm going to get the sanding with 180 grit. It's the one I like to use. And if you see what's happening, I don't know if you can see that good page, you can see that black already popping real easy through your base paint. You see that? So, sand as much or as little as you want. If you sand even harder, you'll get down to your under color, which on my hutch was oak, that honey oak. On here it would be that, whatever that finish was before we painted it. Okay, at that point I took some of the top coat, which is like the easiest product in the world to use. I mean, it puts top coat, it's all natural, it's wonderful, it goes on like water. Okay. You see where it's going, you can see this is top coated and this isn't. It just seals the paint nice, because what I want to do over this is just a little bit of a glaze wash. This is kind of the wash I used. Okay, I mixed the brown. I'll just mix a little on this plate just so you can see how I do it. Barely even need it. A little goes a long way. But I mixed the brown and the black together. And again, I added about 50% water, and that was my wash. Actually, I had more black in it. So, if I wanted more black, I just squirt a little bit of black in there. And I just did it in a little Tupperware bowl. And then I'll put a snap lid on it, and I'll save it for the next time. So you can just wash that right on your finish. Now mind you, I just blue dry that top coat. Okay, so we're really rushing this. And I just softly wiped it off where I wanted. If you do that layer of top coat first, this is like just super, 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 At this super point, easy. if this is the color I like, I'd be good to go. It's pretty matte. If I want to pop my sheen and I want to give it extra protection, I'd give it one more coat of top coat and I'd be good to go. I can buff it with a clear wax if I want. That gives it a nice little sheen. What I did on the furniture, just because I wanted to have something a little bit warmer um, with my copper top, what I did was I took uh, American's Dark Wax, which is just like the awesome light wax. It's just, or the clear, it's just tinted. And I scrubbed it on. And because the the finish is already sealed. It's just kind of goes on. Gives it a warm glow. I don't have to worry about it biting in too much. I wiped off my excess. And then the next day I came back and I buffed it to a nice little sheen. 
So that was my hutch finish pretty much.